Hello, my name is Diana Belshaw, and the title of this video is Collaborative Creation or Devised Theatre Training for Actors. I currently teach acting at Humber College in the Theatre Performance Program, although I started my career as a professional actor. Forty years later, as I began to work as a teacher and director, I started to formulate some ideas about actor training. These thoughts were inspired by the changes in theatre which I was seeing in other parts of the world, but not in Canada. My own training, which was heavily influenced by the American method, felt inappropriate for this new world of theatre. So when I came to Humber, I worked with the faculty to develop training that would respond to the changing world around us. For the last 15 years, we have been developing a curriculum for actor training, which is based in approaches to physical and devised work. For 15 years, we have been exploring actor training, and what I am about to discuss here is based on our learning over these years. I want to emphasize that I'm going to be talking about training for actors, actors who may become fully engaged participants in collaborative models of creation, but who may also follow more conventional career paths. I am not specifically talking about the training of directors, or what we might term theater makers although many of the actors we train through devised work will very possibly take on such roles. Courses in collaborative creation, which I'm going to call devised theater, have become more prevalent over the last few years at colleges and universities. But there's some confusion about what these terms actually mean and what such training might consist of. Perhaps even more importantly for us as both teachers and students is the question, why should we do this kind of training and how can it fit into pre-existing curriculum? To start with, let me define what I'm talking about. On the simplest level, it is training in the creation of original performance through any number of improvisational or formal techniques. A creation process in which the performer stands at the center, guided and inspired by a director or possibly even without a director. Confusingly, many people talk interchangeably about physical theater, collective creation, and devised theater. The terms are vague and change from decade to decade. Most of the approaches I label devised are centered in the expression of physical impulse, but they can also challenge the intellect in ways that are perhaps closer to performance art than theater. Collaborative creation is more than just putting a group of students in a studio to argue their way into the construction of a performance. It requires a foundation and a structure. I would suggest it needs rigorous training as well as creative playing. And it should ideally be linked across foundational training in movement, voice, text analysis, playwriting, and so on. It can support the development of a creative ensemble, even as it encourages and develops individual voices within that ensemble. Most commonly in Canada, those who teach devised theater come from three basic streams of the training themselves. Improvisational collective creation, Lecoq methodologies of clown and mask, and the training into creation model developed by Yertsi Grotowski and Eugenio Barba and their followers. There are many other sources to which we can turn as well for inspiration, but the training of actors, as opposed to the training of directors or movement specialists, tends to come from one of these three streams. I think it's important to really examine why we choose to explore this kind of training for our students. It's very different from the traditional methods of text analysis, scene study, and director-driven performance methods. Although elements of these can be used in the devising process, it requires its own specific methodology and a coherent language of creation. Devised training starts in all forms with the physical training of the actor, which can work in parallel to extended voice training, and then, the ultimate goal, into the ignition and extension of the actor's creative imagination. It is rigorous and meaningful training that engages all the elements of the actor's instrument. It requires the actor to integrate everything she is learning as well as who she is. In Humber's theater performance program, we introduced training and approaches to devised work in 2002, 
first as an experiment and then increasingly as our central approach to training. We are still refining and reconsidering how we do it. We actually use all the forms of training to which I've referred, collective creation, Lecoq work, and Barbara Grotowski training, as well as physical forms like contact and compositional improvisation. We find that the layering of these approaches creates a comprehensive curriculum that ties all our training together holistically and prepares our actors for the unknown world of performance that lies ahead of them. In the early days of our physical training at Humber, much was made of the purely acrobatic and athletic elements of the training. Students walked on stilts, they hung upside down as they sang, there was a great deal of running. We still challenge them, both physically and vocally, but now we work harder to balance the intellectual, imaginative, and emotional elements of creation. We give a deeper consideration to the psychophysical elements of creation, for example, and the physical training itself is more fully integrated into the final creative material in order to support action more coherently. One of the great challenges in actor training is how to wean actors off their need to illustrate their emotional circumstance through stereotypical behaviors. Frequently, traditional realism-based approaches simply reinforce personal mannerisms and encourage minimalistic physical or emotional decisions which are more appropriate for film than theater. By requiring large, non-naturalistic behaviors in devised work, actors become more comfortable with the idea of counterpoint and tension between action and intention. They discover the possibilities of theatricality in all its manifestations. There is a common misconception, the text, that hallowed term for realists and classicists alike, is not part of devised theater training. Nothing could be further from the truth. Devised work can be text dense, with original writing, poetry, political commentary, classical work from Shakespeare to the Greeks. All of these require actors to research as well as to embody the language, found by, written by, or given to them. In this context, embodiment may be quite different from that found in conventional theater. So, as a teacher, how do you start and what should you be thinking about as you put a curriculum together? What kinds of training might actually support students as they enter this kind of creative work? The attached readings will give you some ideas about how to develop and assess your curriculum. I would strongly urge you, however, if you are thinking of bringing this kind of work into your curriculum, to consult with a community of artists and artist educators who are skilled in these forms of creation. Devising cannot be taught from descriptions. My first experience with the work of Grotowski came in a final year undergraduate acting course. The teacher read exercises to us from towards a poor theater and watched helplessly as we, even more helplessly, attempted to decipher the instructions. In retrospect, it seems ridiculous. But there is a real danger if those teaching have not had sufficient training themselves in a performing vocabulary that is all about skill and specificity. And if you are a student exploring the world of creation and physical devising, you will also find some useful guidelines and inspiration in the resources we have appended. But don't stop here. Get out to the theater and see what is being done by companies across Canada. Every city in the country has artists who are making work through forms of devising. See them. Go to the workshops they may be giving and find out where your own artistry finds a home.